doing out here? Huh. I guess it's the county workers or something. They are, can't show you guys because it's outside of my house, but I don't know. They, anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick, but it's super loud. Okay, they finally stopped the ruckus outside. And what we're not about to do is watch this. I had muted it because I changed channels, but nope, not watching it. Judge Judy, I hate Judge Judy. Okay, I don't hate her as a person because I don't know her. I just hate the way she talks to people because it's just so rude and there's a better way to talk to people than the way she does. And I understand she wants to run her courtroom, no nonsense. And you know, I'm the one who has the authority in here, but I don't watch anything I just don't watch her because she's so rude. I just can't with her. How do you guys feel about Judge Judy? Are they even making new episodes or are these all just reruns? I don't know. Anyway, but as you can see, did I even tell you what today was? I don't know. What is today? Today is election day, November 3rd. So I'm kind of nervous. I mean, the way I am is whoever it's meant to be is going to happen. That means it was God's will. But I really want who I voted for to win. Yeah, you guys, I'm getting kind of nervous, but we'll see. This is what my TV is going to be on tonight until we find out. Okay, so it is, I know it's because we don't have that much light on right now. So anyway, it's 11 o'clock and we still don't know yet. I won't show you. I know that's the reason why you're moving up. Savannah's up as well, but yeah, we're just here watching. We probably won't know till sometime early in the morning when we're asleep or when we wake up, so. Whatever they're doing out there, it's annoying. They've been working in front of the house for the last three days, making loud noises starting super early in the morning. This is crazy. I don't even know what they're doing. Hello, so it is Friday and I have actually started painting my record player. I'm not going to show you guys because I'm using that footage for when I completely decorate that little corner over there. But that's the reason why my countertop is a mess. Um, ignore my humidifier that's usually always there. And that usually helps with the breathing in the house because I do have hardwood floors and we have a dog so he doesn't shed a lot at all which is I'm thankful for that but you know just dust I sweep twice a day sometimes and I think I showed you guys but that just helps with the dust with breathing whatever so that's usually always on anyway so I know my countertop is messy but it's because I am painting it the lid is resting on the box of cereal Folks, I am happy to say we finally have a president. Yes. Well, we had a president, but we finally have the election results. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, so yes, I am happy with the results. So do you guys remember the picture frames that I painted and stained and the one that I burnt the paper around? Well, I never showed you guys what I did with them. And actually, I just now hung them up tonight. So I'll show you where I put all of them. Right here is where I put the song sheet. And right here, um, above Boston's crate, is where I have the other pictures of my kids. So I was trying to think of a a way to put them where it's like, it looks cute because the three of them go this way and then that one goes horizontal. So actually I need to pull this off and scoot it over a little bit. And all of this is hung with command strips. And then right over here is where I decided to put the pictures of my grandmother, both my grandmothers and my great grandmother. 
and then my dad and I decided to put these over here is because these are heavier especially this one where I put my dad's badges on here just in case you know the command strips comes off which it shouldn't then that way it has something to um, fall on instead of just the floor so yeah you guys I finally put up my pictures what do you think oh I think I'm going to put something there um not another picture, but just like, I don't know, something. Y'all know me. I'll figure it out. I'm going to show you guys my nightstand from a distance because I have my mail on there with my address on it and everything. But I'm cleaning my room. And you guys, this dresser, I try and try and try not to throw my mail there and the junk mail and the overflow of everything. But every time I clean it, I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do it this time. Well, I did it again. Probably won't be the last time either. All right. Yes, it's the same night. Um, I just changed my pajama top because the other one that I had on got very hot because I'm straightening up and cleaning my room. I'm painting my record player. I did finish painting it, but I'm not going to show you guys now because I want it to be part of the reveal when I finish that corner. Yeah, and I do have a few chairs that I'm going to possibly get, but I'm going to see if I can get it for a little bit less expensive because the one that I really, truly want, it's going to look so good. It's $300, but then I don't know. So we'll see you guys. I'm trying to get it cheaper and go from there, but that's going to be the most expensive thing for that corner is the chair. And then all the other stuff is not very expensive at all. It's just decorations and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's all that's going on right now. Um, Good morning, is everyone. It? it is Monday. And just making sure I look presentable. It is Monday. And we have a mandatory meeting at work today. I'm on my way there. And minus the co-worker who had COVID and shared it. Um, I don't think she will be with us anymore, which when you come to work, knowing you have a deadly virus that can spread, I mean, I wish her well. I pray that nothing happens to her and that she recovers, but not very smart on her part at all. So yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm on my way. I just got some gas in the car. So I'm on my way to the meeting. And then I have some errands to run. So yeah, I'll let you guys know.
Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and as you've seen in the clip before, I made my coffee and I'm just sitting here. I have a um, slight headache, but that's because the bonnet that I had on last night, I had another bonnet, well not a bonnet, but I had another thing wrapped underneath it. So, you know, it was kind of like too tight. So got a slight bit of a headache so I've had to make my coffee strong so the headache can go away I really don't like taking medicine unless I have to so I'm just trying to let the body take care of it naturally so can you guys believe I made my bed today shocker for those of you that don't know I don't make my bed every day because I'm gonna just get back in it at night I only make my bed when someone's coming over and they're going to go um, in my room or walk past my room even though I know I can close the door I don't know that's just me I'm weird that's just me anyway so yeah and I know yesterday was a vlog fail because I think I vlogged one time yesterday and that was when I had just got gas I got back in the car and I was telling you guys what was going on at work and I was on my way there and then the rest of the day nothing I don't know I just didn't feel like picking up the camera I don't know y'all know how I do sometimes so that I won't leave you guys hanging um, went to work had the meeting um, there's going to be a lot of changes I'm so excited but anyway the girl who contacted COVID she is gravely ill so I wish nothing but the best for her and I hope everything works out I hope she gets better so and then the one who she passed it to she is actually doing better so yeah the other one not so good i hope nothing bad happens to her even though all of us were upset at her for coming to work um you still don't wish you know death or anything like that on anyone so i do hope she gets better um she is in a hospital alone um yeah so that's all i know about that and she will not be returning to work. My boss said, even though he feels bad that she is this sick and whatnot, um, she put everyone at risk and, you know, we all could have caught it other than just the one person who did and recovered completely from it. So yeah, she won't be returning and it's kind of expected. I mean, I hope she gets better and he was torn between um, just letting her stay and just having a talk with her because of what she's going through now. Um, so he just decided he just was not going to have her come back. But he's going to wait, of course, until she's completely better to tell her because, you know, who wants to hear all this when you're, you know, gravely ill. Anyway, so that is that. But the exciting part is starting December 1st. Y'all, starting December 1st, this girl, me, Michelle, me, I get to work from home. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. Y'all just don't know. Melissa, now girl, I'm going to see how it is with you. I'm going to be saving on gas. I'm going to be saving on, I'm, I'm just so excited. I get to work from home and they're going to supply everything that I need. So I'm excited about that. I wanted to give you guys an update on the dog chipper I feel like I did I feel like I filmed it but maybe I didn't use it so y'all if you've heard this before what I'm gonna tell you then I'm sorry because I remember filming it but I don't know if I used the footage I don't know anyway we are not going to get the dog chipper because when they did the ultrasound they found out he had some kind of intestinal something on the lining of his stomach he was going to have to have like vitamin E shots every day um, I don't think for the rest of his life but, and there is a growth they don't know if it's benign or cancerous plus when he went to the doggy eye doctor they found out that he had, um, and she called the name of it, some long word, I don't know, but he is actually going to probably be blind within the next year. So, I mean, I feel bad for him, and he's such a sweet dog, but at the same time, I don't want to bring in a sick dog and knowing it's going to be a very expensive road or whatnot, and it'd be different if 
Boston was sick and stuff, you know, we would take care of that. But, you know, to bring in a sick dog, I don't know. I just, we just decided that we were going to wait until another one comes up. So um, that's the update on that. If you guys have heard that already, so sorry, but yeah. Anyway, let me drink my coffee before it gets cold. And I'm gonna film a video that will actually be up before this. So yeah. So the door is completely closed today. Not only it's closed because number one, they are still doing construction out there and it's so loud, extremely loud. And I don't think they start till nine o'clock, which is good, but it's still extremely loud. My room is in the back of the house and I hear it and it wakes me up sometimes in the mornings. So it's closed because it's loud, number one. Number two, it's freezing. All of a sudden, without warning, it dipped to like 45 degrees. And I know some people think that's not that cold, but it's cold for California. So it was freezing last night. So it's much later, but I am uploading a video that I just filmed. So if you're wondering why I have on the same shirt, it's because I filmed the video that you're going to see before this video. I filmed it the same day. So anyway, that's uploading. And I'm just sitting here just watching random stuff on TV. I cleaned the kitchen. Um, just stuff right there that I don't put in the dishwasher that I wash by hand. And just sitting here finding something to watch until... Savannah gets off of work and then we're going to the store a little bit later, but I think I forgot to tell you guys So you know how I am told you guys I'm redoing the corner in my room where my mini fridge is because I'm getting rid of that So I'm doing that some things that I ordered from Amazon came today and it's funny because Savannah has Amazon Prime because she's a college student, right? so Amazon Prime is cheaper for her and I sent her the money and she ordered it like late last night. It was here this morning, like around 9.15. I'm so excited. Yeah, I use her Prime a lot because I get my things quicker, but I'm not gonna show you guys what I got yet because I wanna do it all in a reveal video. The most expensive thing is going to be the chair. I mean, not necessarily, I can get any chair or whatever, but I wanna get something that's not only comfortable, but looks right for that space. So I'm still searching for a chair. I know I think I told you guys, I think I found one that I want, but I'm not 100% sold on it yet. I thought I was, but I don't know. We'll see you guys. But yeah, I keep looking on Facebook market to see if anyone is, you know, selling a decent looking chair that's not trash and busted up. So I'm going to keep looking on there. And if not, then... I'll just wait to get something that I really want. Y'all know how I do. It took me like a year to do my dining room because I couldn't find a table that I wanted. So yeah, we'll see you guys, but I'm excited about that. And was there something else I wanted to tell you guys? I don't know. If there is, I'll come back. You guys, so I went to Dollar Tree like yesterday when I was supposed to vlog after my work meeting and I didn't. And I got these two holiday trays as you can see i washed them but i got these holiday trays for like cookies or something so yes i think they're super cute and there's other designs and different sizes but i like this this is perfect we have seen this place way too much in the last two weeks savannah it's all savannah's fault <laughs> having a birthday and wanting stuff and wanting more things can you guys guess where we are yeah but anyway, remember we used to be here like once a week. We're back. Is it blurry? It is. Okay. We are back home. We went to a few places and we went to Walmart and whatever. I'm making soup for dinner. Everything's in there. Y'all know how I do. What did you do, Savannah? Anyway, Savannah's so silly. So, yeah, my soup, sausages, and I have shrimp in here. I dropped the egg in here. And also, I put, did I say shrimp? Um, I put scallops. They're somewhere in there. I didn't put that many. That's not it. Anyway, it's in here somewhere, the scallops. So, oh, there they are. Okay. And... Look what I got, Edna. So I don't know how this will taste. Pumpkin spice apple cider. 
mm, I'm kind of iffy on it. It wasn't that expensive, but I like things pumpkin and I love apple cider. So hopefully this will taste good. I'll let you guys know, but I'm not opening it yet. Ooh, my lips are burning because I put a lot of sriracha in my soup. Anyway, I am going to try this juice. Let me shake it up first for the first time. And I will let you guys see my reaction. It smells good. All right, here we go. It's actually not bad. Probably, probably because I like pumpkin. I mean, it's not something that I would get again. It's not nasty, but it's not bad. So, so now that I've had a chance to drink more of it, it's not nasty, but it's not my favorite thing. So I will still drink it because I paid for it and then the girls have yet to try it. But yeah, I won't be getting that again. So the only two things I got from Ikea is this these candles right here these tea light candles and then this right here that is going to go in my little um reading corner and these i bought for this right here i'm about to because you say bible study i was about to open it up with praise the lord <laughs> <laughs> praise the lord everybody <laughs> that's not a bad thing but anyway um it is wednesday and as you can see savannah and i we are at fallen prices and this is my first time here the parking lot of fallen, fallen prices this is our first time here mm -hmm. well my first time here <laughs> and <laughs> when i walked much. in i already knew i wasn't gonna buy anything so the way i am i don't like digging in bins number one number two everything felt dirty that's why everyone had gloves on yeah you should have told me that mm -hmm. and as soon as i got in i used hand sanitizer i didn't get anything um i read on the re reviews that sometimes they sell expired food so i didn't even look at any of the food and i really didn't go through the bins i mean i picked stuff off the top to see what it was but yeah i don't i'm never coming back down bougie or whatever but um yeah do you guys have a fall in prices where you live and what do you think what's that other one um that's the other place is called there's falling prices and there's um y'all the one that told me about it i don't know there's what's the other one it's like where everything's like is it called falling down no it's called falling down let me show you guys the building we're in the back of the store that's how you have to enter um yeah so you go through that little area right there but yeah you guys um not coming back i won't be doing it so this is the front of the store and i guess every day there's different prices for the same amount of stuff but they're closed sundays and mondays i think so we are back home and we went to like where do we go went to walmart went to um oh my goodness went to the mall i didn't get anything there savannah did and I just wanted to say something more about fallen prices. So on Tuesdays they open and everything, like I said, is in their bins and everyone was wearing gloves. Not everyone, but people wearing gloves. I wish I would have known, but I still, I don't like digging in bins. Even when we go to Walmart, you know how they have the, they have the movies, like $4. My eyes are watering, you guys, sorry. Um, In the movie bins, it's like, everything in here is four dollars or five dollars whatever i look at a couple on top but i don't like digging in bins i just don't that's just me so everything was in bins and on tuesdays everything is six dollars and then on wednesdays whatever they have left is four dollars and then it just goes on and on from there and then i think by saturday things are like 25 cent or 50 cent or something like that and then they're closed Saturday, no, they're closed on Sunday and Monday to restock. And a lot of the stuff that I've seen, they may have some good stuff in there, I don't know. Some of the things that are in there were Amazon packages, like I've seen people's names and address, 
and I don't know if it was undelivered or if it got lost or whatever, but you couldn't open them. So it's like, what's in them? I'm not paying to get something that I don't need or don't want. So that was kind of weird to me. And yeah, have you guys heard of Fallen Prices? And do you guys have one? Do you like it? I won't be back because I want to know what I'm getting, number one. Number two, I don't want to dig through anything. I just want it lined up neatly where I can see what I'm getting. And I got a few things for my room that, of course, I'm not going to show you guys now because I'm trying to see if you guys can see. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I don't know if you know what it is. Anyway, it's going to be a process, and I am filming as I go along, you know, that way I can show you guys the before and after. But I'm so excited, you guys. I have maybe... Four more things to get for that corner but these four things one of them is going to be most expensive the chair I'm going to get the chair last because like I said I'm still looking for what I want so it's a process I'm just excited that's why I keep talking about it even though I'm not showing you guys everything but I'm excited because you guys know I love home improvements so <laughs> 